Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my full review for the Savern Rocket Extreme Nano. Now, this retails for roughly 170 US dollars, and in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. Now, I've already unboxed it and tested it, but I'm going to test it again so that all of you can actually see the raw performance that this $170 incredibly small one terabyte drive can deliver. And that's really what this is all about. If you're looking for the smallest drive on earth when it comes to form factor with the best overall performance, Sabrent has done it again. So one terabyte, 170, uh, Sabrent is telling you that uh, Thunderbolt 3 speeds are roughly 2,700 megabits per second. Uh, but again, you've got to have that 40 gigabit per second connection to leverage that. If you're using a traditional USB connection, then you're looking at 900 megs. So not bad, but you know, regular performance. And in terms of what else comes in this package besides the drive itself, you're going to get this Thunderbolt cable right here, as well as a Type C to Type A. You can see I've already taken the drive out, of course, and I still have the Type C to Type A in there. But let's go ahead and get that aside. Here is that incredibly small drive, which is just crazy. And for reference, let's go ahead and grab a regular extreme drive so you can see that form factor difference because it is wild. And of course, uh, the capacity is limited on these now, but give it some time. And I have a feeling we're just going to get better and better in terms of larger storage capacity and now with these new speeds which are essentially twice uh, what we have been accustomed to traditionally things are getting very interesting so let's go ahead and connect that now keep in mind with any of these drives if you want full performance you need to enable it you do that by going into device manager selecting the drive uh, and i'll show you that right now uh, just so that you see it so if I go to Device Manager, and then we head over to the disk drives, and you can see the Sabrent Rocket Extreme is right there. And I'll actually get a little bit tighter on screen, so this is as clear as it can physically be. So we are tight on that. Policies, you can see better performance is checked, and enable write caching on the device is also checked. Once you select that, you'll have to reboot. Windows will prompt you, and you are good to go. You will now have full performance uh, from this drive. So let's do a little bit of testing. Um, I will start with Blackmagic. Make sure we are targeting the correct drive, which we are. And let's go ahead and start that test. And so far, I've been really impressed with this. I mean, you can see it already nearly 2000 on the right side right out of the gate and um, in my experience i've been getting even faster speeds uh, with the crystal disk benchmark which i'm going to be doing next but you already see that this is setting a new standard for what you should expect out of not only external nvme drives but again the smallest physical form factor on the planet so if you're looking to travel light and not sacrifice speed you're starting to see some options here. And I love these sort of drives. Do I wish the capacity was larger? Absolutely. But a lot of you don't need more than a terabyte. And you see these checklists uh, for video editing. I mean, what you're getting out of this essentially is the sort of uh, capability, speed, and performance that you would get out of an internal drive. But of course, we are external now. So the line has been even further blurred between internal and, exter and external uh, storage. I mean, when NVMe started to become prevalent, we were seeing speeds, much of which I think, you know, or, or give kudos to Sabrent for pushing that envelope, we were seeing a gig a second, which is just insane. And it was insane, but now we've effectively doubled that. Um, and maybe even more so, because as I mentioned, Blackmagic is a little bit more stringent, or at least the results I've been getting out of uh, the Blackmagic Design bench are a little bit lower than what you'll see out of Crystal Disk. So <clears throat> I think we've seen enough with this. And you know, the speed, as you see, is continuing to inch up on the stress test, but still hovering right under 2000 on the right, and the read consistently over 2300. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this another, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Um, and then we'll jump over to Crystal Disk. And so far, I've been really pleased with this drive. Again, the only thing I wish was that we had more capacity, but that just doesn't really exist yet. So we're going to have to give it some time uh, before we can start benchmarking those and essentially, you know, making sure they meet the requirements that you need for your work, whether that's video editing, uh, rendering, whatever it may be. This is the sort of storage you're going to want because, well, there's no trade-off except, of course, cost, which while the premium is there, it's not that crazy. I mean, when I think of the premiums once upon a time, this seems, you know, mild-mannered at best. So this benchmark is going to take a little bit more time, of course. Uh, Crystal Disk, notorious for that. But I still prefer it over the Blackmagic uh, app, uh, so to speak. Uh, so you'll get a good idea here. Um, and, you know, this is something that I hope to see more models uh, appear from Savern over time. You can see that read speed already uh, significantly faster than what we got out of Black Magic. And again, you know, I've been waiting for Sabrent to bring out a product that was going to give us really another level of performance yet again. And unsurprisingly, they've done it. And to do it in a nano form factor is just a bonus. I mean, the Extreme has always been one of my favorite external drives because of its immense uh, flexibility. And to now have it in a nano form, as I keep saying, with these sort of speeds, it's a win-win for all of us. Um, and I only expect things to get better. I mean, hopefully we see more drives uh, from Sabrent with this capability soon. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot. After all, a lot of manufacturers in the last year have been rolling out uh, full 40 gigabit throughput enclosures, um, and I expect Sabrent to fully take advantage of that over time. And of course, their packaging, still bar none, uh, love the aluminum cases. Uh, they do not uh, skimp or slack when it comes to delivering a premium product uh, in both the physical product itself, but of course, uh, the packaging it's delivered in as well, which th that to me is worthwhile uh, in every way, because after all, that packaging can be used as a carry case for the drive in a pinch. Uh, so always good to have. And then the other thing is that this drive is very rugged uh, for what it is, or at least it feels that way. I'm not telling you that it's IP rated because it isn't, but it does have... Uh, Again, that rubber uh, sleeve over it for heat dissipation and also just to give it a layer of protection and to protect you. But you see right there that write speed coming in at over 2,000 megs a second. We're up to 2,270, and that makes my point. We were hovering at around 1,900 and change, a little under 2,000 in the Black Magic uh, bench. So just good to have two different sources and again, clear verification that this drive is going to deliver uh, the speeds that Sabrent is advertising, which is not unusual. This is part of the reason I've always appreciated products uh, that I, re I review as well as purchase uh, from Sabrent because I do purchase Sabrent products as well. Uh, it's not just about the units that are sent over for review, and that's because they do stand behind their products, and their products do deliver uh, the performance as advertised. And I'm not saying other manufacturers don't do that. They do. Uh, Sabrin is just one of uh, the better manufacturers, in my opinion. Uh, I still love Western Digital, um, and I still uh, appreciate Hynix in certain circumstances. They've got blazing drives. I mean, there are many manufacturers out there uh, that I like, uh, but, you know, it's still something where uh, Micron generally is going to be your most value-oriented, but this is not about value, folks. This is about blistering performance, and that's exactly what we're getting out of this incredibly small drive as it wraps up uh, its second round of benching here on the uh, sequential test. So uh, I can highly recommend this. If you are looking for the fastest and smallest drive on Earth, Sabrent has delivered it, um, and it's easy to recommend because after all, you know exactly what you're getting and that's what I always look for uh, from tech products that I purchase. I wanna know the performance I'm getting is going to be there and then of course have reliability with that manufacturer. And I know Sabrent delivers on both 
uh, cylinders. Any questions or comments about this incredibly small drive, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.